Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today for Simon Says Stamp with a couple of all die cut cards except for one small sentiment using the big picture book Koala and Lion Dies. If you are a fan like I am of the picture book series from Simon Says Stamp that is a lot of really cute little critters dies. They have recently, over the last couple of releases, come out with some large versions and even some bodies and things to go with all of the larger heads that they were coming out with. So I decided to create a couple of mostly die cut cards here today. I did stamp a background with the Simon Says Stamp Reverse Polka Background just for a little subtle interest on for the background so it's not so plain white. Um, I'm not doing inking or really any um, highlighting with a pen or anything today. I really wanted the dies to take center stage and the cute embellishing of the sentiments and what each of these critters is holding. So what I'm gonna do is stamp the background for one. I actually created more backgrounds than I'm gonna use. This yellow background I did not use. Um, but it's still super pretty. This is the uh, Lawn Fawn Butter Ink. So if you're wondering what color that is, I just saved this for another card. I am going to use a couple of backgrounds created with the Cotton Candy Simon Says Stamp Ink and Sea Glass Ink. So a light pink background and a light blue background. For whatever reason, I really prefer something a little bit more muted. Um, and I think the yellow was just a little too overpowering for this particular die cut image. So I opted to go with the light pink that you can see a darker pink version. I actually created several backgrounds here. Um, and the dark pink was also just way too dark. So I'll just switch that around. Now I did do my die cutting off camera and that's to save time today. So real quick, I am using the Simon Says Stamp Big Picture Book Big Body. This is a great little body that you can use with any of your critters to, and it also die cuts the arms so they can hold on to something. The Big Picture Book Koala, so super sweet. And of course, all die cut from gray cardstock. I'm using Slate and Fog Simon Says Stamp cardstocks here. Layered the body pieces and we're gonna start with those. The Happy Birthday is a Happy Birthday die from Simon Says Stamp. I did die cut this from several colors of cardstock for the word happy and then the uh, kind of turquoise or aqua cardstock for the word birthday. And then the cupcake is the picture book cupcake. So even the cupcake has a cute little face and we're going to add some sprinkles to that with Nouveau Crystal Drops to dress it up. These are actually super clean and simple, but they have a few little elements that I particularly love to dress up my die cuts to really add a lot of interest to clean and simple style cards. For the word birthday, I actually die cut this twice and I'll be popping one on top of another for a little bit more definition to draw your eye into that word just a little bit more. We've got the cupcake there. Don't forget the eyes for the cupcake. So I did die cut it from light pink, aqua, and black cardstock and pieced it together. The koala, as I mentioned, two shades of gray, also black for the eyes and the nose. I die cut the nose three times. I wanted the nose to be nice and prominent and stick up. So three times I'm gonna adhere those one on top of another and then finish with glossy accents. The Tua Quality Friend. There is a new stamp set from the latest release, the fun and festive release called Punny Animals. And this is a bunch of cute little phrases. Great to stamp and put into little word strips like I'm doing here that work perfectly with any of the picture book critters in the collection. That goes for the original critters and now the larger ones as well. 
So whether you're using the regular picture book dies or the big picture book dies, you can create some really fun sentiments, punny sentiments that go with them. I just joined the To A Quality Friend with Happy Birthday. So it reads Happy Birthday To A Quality Friend, which I think is super fun. Lots of ways, again, to mix and match these with other sentiments. I'm a pretty big fan of combining a die cut greeting with a thin sentiment strip. So you will see that from me a lot. I really love that kind of look. And we're gonna do that for the second card, the one with the lion as well, but we're gonna switch it up and it's not gonna be a birthday card. It'll be a congrats card instead. So same exact design, but you can create all kinds of different greeting cards. So here is what my cute little koala looks like. And it's time to start adding some finishing details that dress this up, starting with taking a fine tip pin and adding eyelashes to the koala. Taking glossy accents and layering that on the nose. I wanted to get that on there pretty quickly so that this starts to dry, but it's definitely going to draw your eye into the nose. I do this a lot for the picture book dies. I even added eyelashes to the cute little face on the cupcake. I didn't want to leave it out. We're going to add some sprinkles to the top of the cupcake with Nouveau Crystal Drops in Red Berry, Dandelion Yellow, Ripened Pumpkin, and Caribbean Ocean. And I'm doing really teeny tiny little drops all over the top of the cupcake. And definitely pulling my color choices from the rainbow colors shown in the die cut word happy. I didn't use all the colors, I guess, just about four there. Enough to add some fun little color to that cupcake. Then we're going to take a white pin and add detail to the eyes on the cupcake, the eyes on the koala, and when the glossy accents dries on the koala's nose, we will add a highlight there. I really recommend if you're going to cover something with glossy accents, most of the time, if you add your white pin detail on top of the dry glossy accents, you get a much more prominent little white highlight mark that way. I'm also adding some little white dots to the cupcake liner there on the bottom for added interest, some little white dots to the cheeks on the cupcake. A little bit bigger highlight since this face is bigger. I went ahead and did more of a little line or a little um, just kind of follow the shape of the eye a little bit more instead of just a dot on that koala itself. And then I took a sponge dauber and some sponge sugar distress ink and pinked up the cheeks on the koala. And I'm going to take Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard, so the iridescent clear sparkle, and add that to the letters on the word happy and take glossy accents with the fine tip applicator from Scrap Perfect, which makes it easy to trace the word birthday, which is pretty fine detail, and add a glossy raised finish to this word. And then the To A Quality Friend, I think I forgot to mention, I did adhere this with some foam adhesive right down there below the happy birthday greeting. We will place this on a white top fold card base. Place some nice strong adhesive and the whole front panel is gonna cover the front of the card. Let's move on to the big picture book lion card. This is a congrats card. The background was stamped with sea glass using that reverse polka background just like before. This time we're going to build the lion using the same body. 
Um, I do want to mention that there are several different body options for the lion, or for the lion, for any of the critters, pardon me. Um, I am using this one today because I wanted the one that kind of holds on to something, in this case, die cuts. You could also consider maybe putting money in the arms or something if you're giving a gift. Anyway, so there's other options other than just this particular body if you're looking for that kind of thing. This time, we're using the Simon Says Stamp Happy Hearts. There's actually a large and a small. We're using the large here. But they also have faces, which are really fun for dressing up. I've already tucked that in the lion's arms. We will assemble the lion and I tip their heads a little bit. For whatever reason, I really like to tip their heads when I'm assembling these. I think it's kind of fun. Gives them a little bit of character. And then I am simply going to place the rest of the face pieces in here. The lion face, the insides of the ear are pink. The nose is gonna be dark brown. The eyes are black. So very much the same design up to this point, except for a different critter. The lion mane is a little bit bigger than the koala. And so I shifted the body of my lion all the way down. Plus this particular design worked really well with the greetings to be clear at the bottom of the panel. So I did that this time. Again, adding eyelashes to the lion, also to the face on the heart. Adding white highlights to the eyes. We will finish the nose with glossy accents. Once the glossy accents on the nose is completely dry, we will add the white highlight to the nose on the lion. Add highlights to the heart face, the, the eyes on the heart. And then the sentiment this time is the Simon Says Stamp Congrats die. Die cut again from Rainbow Colors of Cardstock. And we're using another one of the punny, uh, punny animals sentiments. This one is You're the Best, No Lion, which I think, again, very fun. Works great for lots of different things. This is a great little encouragement, congratulations type card. Adhering, or this was stamped with clear ink, embossed with white embossing powder, and then trimmed into a thin strip and adhered with foam adhesive, just like the last card. This time we are going to take our greetings, or our die cut greeting rather, and adhere this right above. I didn't cut apart the O and the N, so you will notice that anything that was connected, the O and the N in congrats, and also the S and the exclamation point, I die cut those from the same color of cardstock. So even though it's in rainbow color, there isn't a different color for the connected letters. And that only happens twice, and I thought it worked really well. If you do want to go ahead and disconnect those with your scissors, if you don't want to have two in the same color, you could do that really easily. And I kind of started at the center, or just left of the center, I guess, with the O and the N, and built out from either side of that to finish off my word. And the rainbow color uh, that I've added in both of the die cut greetings for both cards adds a lot of color and interest to the design and really makes it pop. Again, we're gonna finish this with Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard so that the sentiment is sparkly. Just trace it over this with our applicator. I found it a little bit easier since I've already die cut and, or pardon me, adhered the sentiment strip with foam adhesive to flip my panel upside down so that I could get to the bottom of each letter a little bit easier. And this does dry really quickly. They usually recommend you let Nouveau Crystal Drops 
sit and dry for a good 24 hours before trying to mail when you're making droplets with it. I have found though that when you're just putting a really thin layer like tracing on the letters and things, it doesn't take that long for it to dry. Added glossy accents to the nose and then I don't want to forget to add a little color to the cheeks on the lion with our sponge sugar distress ink and the sponge dauber. Adds a nice little bit of character and fun to the face. We'll glue this to a white top fold card base as well and that is going to finish up both of my big picture book critter cards featuring lots and lots of die cutting and lots of Simon Says stamps and dies. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two die cut cards featuring Simon Says stamps and dies. The supplies I used to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says picture book dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.